Reptiles are cold-blooded, which means they need the sun to warm up. And they do that with these shells. The sun will come down and heat the shell. It's a bit like a radiator, really. Then the tortoise will get warm. Baby animals behave differently if they're too hot or too cold. First, we're off to East Africa. Elephants are the largest of all land animals. But they start out much smaller. This mum and calf live in Kenya. And at midday, when the sun is high in the sky, it gets super hot. Too hot for a little elephant. Luckily, mum's got those two giant ears that she can flap like a fan to help her cool down. Oh, nice. Keep flapping, mum. Standing in the shade is another great way to cool down. Oh, oops. She's not quite got the hang of standing yet, though. Give her a hand, Mum. Or a trunk. At least when your mum's as big as a minibus, you'll always have some shade. It looks like today is going to be a real scorcher. So Mum's had a bright idea. A trip to the swimming pool. Well, it's more of a muddy puddle, really, but... That's not going to stop them splashing about. Hey, 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 this is a brilliant way to cool down and to have lots of muddy fun. Don't forget to wash your back now. This little car can't spray water from her trunk yet, but Mum's shower is big enough for two. to get me clean. Not this one, though. It's a mud bath. The mud helps protect them from the sun as well. It's like elephant sun cream. Looks like they've gone for factor 50 mud cream. The little calf is having so much fun, she's forgotten how to stand up again. Thanks, Mum. And remember, always be careful when you get out of the bath. It can be rather 